Hello guys, in this outer plane video, I want to go over all the supports in outer plane so that you can figure out which healer is the best for your current situation. The healer question is one which is frequently asked by new players and there is no simple answer to it simply because of color requirements, right? We have healers in every color. I'm not sure if Dark has a healer, I don't think so. But other than that, we do, we have healers who are stronger in certain situations simply because of passives like punishment for having the wrong color in the dungeon, right? So there is no clear answer. But without further ado, let's jump into it and let's talk about all healers. So to make understanding the different roles of healers easier, I decided to use my beloved tier list maker and we will go to all the units which are healing and you will understand better which unit is overall the best depending on what situation, right? This one ignores elements, so keep that in mind. Elements take a huge role for early game players. You want to have as many red units as possible for Chimera. Not as possible, but the best ones, right? So you want to farm the best gear stage. But anyway, let's talk about the units. Okay, we start the list already with a banger and that is Saren. Saren is basically a unit which can be put into any row of the tier list because she can do it all. She has extremely good cl cleanse on her S1 because it's an 80% chance and can be basically be done any round, every round, as long as she hits, right, 80%. She has a team cleanse on her S2 which basically cleanses everything, but it is a burst. She has wow healing. Her S1, her S3 heals for 100%, which is extremely high. <laughs> like it's, it's the most you can ask for for a single target. But the single target heal also pushes the unit by 100%, making it giving her the unit basically a free turn. And also reduce the skill cooldowns of the unit by two turns. This means you can basically use someone who's very fast and give him one extra turn with Saren, which is extremely strong. And that's why I think the main usage of Saren right now is her as 3 into one of your DPS, for example, Amel, to give her an extra turn to push damage to max her good rate, for example, right? So as you can see, I think while Saren can do it all, her biggest strength is definitely her reset on turn and cooldown, basically, on her S3 making her, from my point of view, the best offensive utility support. Next one on the list is Mena, and Mena has a lot of healing. She has a burst on her S1, which allows to heal on the S1 relatively reliable. And But her biggest selling point is, of course, her revival of the team, which also gives an attack buff if they are already alive. And her S2 can also cleanse by reducing the duration of debuffs. So she also is someone who can be put into anything, though utility or friends probably not. I will put her in utility survival because of her PvP. We all know that even though they are changing um, how revival works, it is basically today still the most broken ability in outer plane. You could say that. It, it will get nerfed hard. I'm not sure how hard it will be, but she Survival, if your team doesn't die, it's basically the best survival you can ask for, right? I mean, Saren has the revival buff also in the S3 burst, I think, but get to the burst first and yeah. So Bene, you know, blue blue supporter, super strong healer, but also really good with the revival thing, right? So definitely a strong unit for PvE if you want to do easy auto teams. Like I use her in tower one, I use her to do tower. She does the 100 once and I don't have to look, honestly, I'm not, I'm, I, I ought to tower 100. Yeah, and she's part of the team. Definitely um, one of the best units right now. She is broken like Tamara and yeah, gets a nerf and probably deserved nerf. So the next unit I want to talk about is Aste and Aste, you know, she is not directly a cleanser. She can only cleanse herself, but she gives the whole team the immunity buff, which will go for three turns. And she also has it on her burst um, tree. But that's basically her setting point. She has the S1 that can trigger S2 for healing, which is nice, which can trigger priority, bar, uh, priority push, which is nice also. But you pick her because she gives your whole team immunity for three turns, right? She gives also a debuff on the enemy team for crit damage. So you could say she's good for survival. Immunity buff is good for survival. You could say technically 
immunity buff is not a cleanse, but if you can't get debuff, that's some form of prevention, right? It's, it's like putting a condom on, I guess. <laughs> yeah, a cleanse ability is like the prescription you take after you got an STD. Oh my god, what am I talking? <laughs> in any case, as they extremely important in certain dungeons, extremely important in story stages, she has the immunity buff for your wall team. Definitely pick her up if you can. She is definitely a must have. And you can't really put her somewhere else because that's what her biggest selling point is. Next up on our list is Eva or Beloved Android, which got reworked, um, at least outside. Sadly, not with skills. And she is a poor WoW healing unit. The sad part is that she is very, very bad at what she's doing. She was not bad at the release of the game because we had a lack of options and if you were able to keep her burst up, she was able to heal quite a lot back then, right? Now you have all the other options, mana with a revival, as they can trigger her S2 every turn basically, and Saren, who is basically a very strong long cooldown healer. So, next up on the list is Fanon, and Fanon is just the worst version of Aste, she's light, but her ultimate um, immunity is one turn shorter for the first part. Her S2 is like Seren's S2, it heals. I think it can also push priority, but it is far more burst reliant because otherwise you don't heal the whole team. And the healing numbers overall are worse, so just treat her as a worse Aste, which you can use as a filler because of her immunity buff, which is also very much needed in a lot of PvE content. So next up on the list is Tio, and Tio is the best cleanser by far. We could argue that the other ones are no real cleansers, but Tio definitely is a cleanser and it's a role to prevent debuffs. And she is still the best at it while they don't fill the similar role, right? Aste and Fanon basically are like I said a condom or are preventing debuffs from happening and Tio prevents debuffs up after they happen and she pushes the priority of the targets uh, of your units and also heals them. So the biggest strength of Tio's kit is that she can trigger S2 and it doesn't cost her a turn. Also her S3 is, extremely is an extremely strong single target here and with her EE she becomes a monster. She used to be the one of the most broken units in the game but kind of got power crept by Aste in certain ways and also by certain counters like Tamara. So think of her as a unit which is extremely reliable and strong in PvE, which will carry you to most of the game, but you will find a lot of situation later on where you actually want Aste, and that's why I put Aste higher and without Aste, undoubtedly Tio will be the best cleanser still next to no one. As long as you can rely on the debuff, uh, on, on the cleats. <laughs> okay. So the next unit I want to talk about is Lila, and Lila is a survival unit who will reduce the damage your team takes from a rear of effect effects. Basically, she reduces the damage taken by 15% if the if the enemy attack attacks all of your units. Also, um, she needs to get triggered to trigger her. Agile response, which gives sustained recovery to all your units. And the S3 also is more like a worse version of Aste because resilience buff is worse than just being immune to debuffs, right? So overall, a nice unit and unique unit with a passive, but not not that strong, I think. I would, I would think um, Stabby will tell me something else, but the numbers are not high enough to say she's top tier. She's just good, but if you have mana, I will definitely play in most cases mana over Lila. Next on the list is Shu. And Shu is also a cleanser, but very, very situational because her heal is, compared to the other cleansers, kinda trash. She is super reliant on her S3 being used, her cleanse, because otherwise she doesn't heal much at all. And her S2 removes buffs from the target, and that's very, very situational. She is a uh, okay healer, but one you only basically use for, I think, Lysis to remove most of the buffs reliable, unlike Seven. Um, did I say Lysis? I mean Tyrant Toddler. <laughs> so now we also have Claire, and Claire is a very, very cool healer because she is a healer who can deal damage. It's not that crazy of a damage, but 
she heals and you can focus her on building her on attack, which makes her kinda unique. Kinda hard to place her because her skill set is well survivability, but you also rely on quitting constantly with the AE. I would put her in utility of friends, definitely a niche unit, which was actually kinda strong in the early phases of the game. Uh, lastly, we have Flamberg. Flamberg is a green one and he heals when he gets hit. He is super unreliable, super weak. I will put it in raw healing and he's, he is really bad at it. Not a unit I recommend building. Just go to his skill set and you will understand. <laughs> so, which units do I suggest for newer players? I think everyone should have a strong Tio on his team because Tio is super reliable and cleanse, right? And other than that, I think. Every cleanser you can get is a big help for the game in PvE, but also for PvP. If you have Tio built up, focus on getting either Aste, Saren, or at least build up Fennon, because you definitely want to have more options to deal with debuffs. It will come clutch in PvE, it will be useful in PvP, and it is very useful in late game content, where immunity against debuffs is key on many stages. So, what is the main takeaway from this video? You, if you talk about support, especially in the early game, what you mostly want are cleansers or units who can give you immunity debuff for your whole team. That way you can be prepared for a lot of stages in player versus enemy PvE content and thus it will translate very well into your progress for PvP later when you build up other units like Seven. Seven overall is a very very lucky unit if you get her early because she can cleanse, she can heal and she has high utility in gold weight as well as probably high utility in RTA later. And with that out of the way, I want to thank you all for watching my video. If you have time or feel like it, leave a like or subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me and I can reach more autoplay uh, auto players this way. <laughs> So if you still watched until now, thank you again and have a good time.